I have just yeah, I have just been told by a lady that doesn't want to be filmed, but David knows about this. This bit. David, can you explain what's going on here, please? Well, no, but it's more for us, because that's for that. They don't want to do it there. So they put it here now? They put it here now. But yeah. I, I, some lady just told me that they set fire to this. Yeah, it's, yeah every week they try to set fire to it. So obviously, this getting set on fire could burn this house down, could burn this house down, oh, could burn yeah. this house down. Yeah, and now only timber frames, so if one goes out, they all go up. So ladies and gentlemen, we have got another problem in Hillman Avenue. This, this plot here, which is opposite that plot, this one's getting full up now. So they're now moving on to this one. And what they're doing is, David, they're basically setting fire to this. Yeah, they come through the alleys at night with yep. all the furniture and all that. And they just dump it here? Just dump it anywhere. <laughs> Except for their own street. <laughs> but there's a dump there in the road for free. Makes, makes me sad. The obviously, the, the concern of you and the residents is that... It was a safety issue. This, this could set these houses on fire. Oh, yeah. Then you get a domino effect. Oh, yeah. One, when, when one goes up, oh, yeah. they can all go up. Yeah, they'll all go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? People say things are getting better. Well, they're not, no, no. No, they're not getting No, because when you get onto the council, and I've been there now, yeah. they just keep passing the plant. I've been to environment, health, been everywhere. Yep. And nothing's got done. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want things to get better, how about you help me and David and the residents of Hillman Avenue get this rubbish cleared once and for all and to stop people setting fire to it, which is going to cause all these houses to go up yeah. and put everybody at risk. Yeah, and get fences up and fences up. Or yeah. put cameras up or something. Was there not green fences up at one point? No, no never. But no. there is some up there no. that have got green fences. No, the council did clear these about six years ago. It was worse than that. Yes. And they cleared it. There's smoke coming up from here. Uh, that's, that's my cigarette. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a fire risk. Let me go straight to them, David. So this is the alleyways of Jaywick. Got the alleyways here. The alleyways here. And people are now dumping fridges. All their rubbish. Oil, sofas, speakers, boxes. Look, they're having fires. Proper fires. Look, that's, that's been on fire. That's been on fire. That's all been on fire. It's a proper fire. Ladies and gentlemen, they, people are putting all their rubbish here and then they're setting fire to it. And the people that live in these houses are very scared that their houses will go up in flames. If you're having fires this close to where people live, can you imagine if you were one of them people that lived in the houses where these fires were happening? We need to put a stop to this, ladies and gentlemen, because people are in fear of their lives because people are dumping rubbish and trying to set fire to it themselves. If one of these houses goes up in fire flames, they could all go up in flames, the domino effect. Please help us stop this fly tipping and stop these fires. Look how close this is, look. Fire there, and then someone's house. Fire, house, fire, house, fire, houses. David, look how close, look how close the fire is to people's houses. Have you seen this on fire? No. No, but obviously... I'm more at work on it. I don't... I hear about it afterwards, after, after, after it's been done. Ladies but this, is, this can catch this flight. Yeah, look how close it is. Yeah. That is so close to that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us keep everyone safe. Of course you can. And this is all... This has all been on fire.